Hello children, in this video we are doing session 3 of unit 4, web application and security. Now the first term is instant messaging. Instant messaging is a form of communication over the internet that offers an instantaneous transmission of text-based messages from sender to receiver. So unlike email, instant messaging happens in real time and the response from past participants can be spontaneous means when you will send the message you will get the answer of the message at that time only so instant message messaging can be done online when both the sender and the receiver are using the internet some instant messaging software allows user to view messages received when they are not logged on these are called offline messages right so here we can take example of whatsapp when you are online when the sender and the receiver both are online they can exchange the message instant instantly right and if if the receiver is not present is not online at that time the receiver can see the message later on when when the receiver will come online next is key features of an instant messaging are as follows text messages can be sent to one or more persons similar to sms we can send the text messages as we send this sms audio calling and conferencing we can we can do the audio calling and conferencing. Conferencing means we can add more than two people in our audio in our audio calling, right? So, so we can call more than two people at the same time and all can talk to each other. Video calling and conferencing. In video calling and conferencing, we can do video call with number of people at the same time. File transfer not limited to the documents, press sheets, audio files, video files, etc. So we can transfer number of the files by these applications and they can include the document files, press sheet, audio files, video files, etc. Message history. We can save the message for our future reference. There are two kinds of instant messaging software, application-based and web-based. Application based instant messaging software is downloaded and installed on user's computer. Some of the popular instant messaging softwares are so application based instant messaging softwares are the softwares that we have to down, we have to download and then install them on our system on our computer. So some of Instant messaging software, application based instant messaging software are Google Talk, Yahoo Messengers, Google Talk now is replaced by the Hangouts, Skype, Windows Live Messenger, Ready Ball, etc. Web based instant messaging software is accessed using browsers such as Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, etc. So these are the names of the web browsers. Web-based instant messaging software we can access by using the web browsers. Some of the popular web browser based instant messaging softwares are Meebo, Yahoo Messenger, MSN, IMO. Right, so we can use these instant messaging software by using the web browser. Chatting with a contact Google Talk, there are some general rules and etiquettes to be followed while chatting. So when we do the chatting, we have to follow certain rules. Some of them are messages should be short and to the point. Our messages should be short and should be relevant to the point. Always introduce yourself by name if your screen name does not reflect it. If your screen name is not reflecting your real name, you should introduce yourself by your real name. Always ask if the other person has time to chat first regardless of how important you think what you have to say is. It's not going to be well received if the participant, if the recipient is busy. So you have to ask first for their permission, for the permission of the reci recipient before starting your communication 
in a business environment know exactly what you want to discuss so before coming for the chatting you should know what you are going to discuss Typing your message in uppercase is extremely rude. It's considered shouting and very aggressive. So always try to write in the lower case because typing in uppercase is considered as rude. Give people time to respond. Multiple questions sent to be to a recipient before they have had a chance to answer can seem more like an interrog interrogation. Rather than a conversation, so instead of talking a, a number of questions at the same time, just ask one question and wait for the answer. Whenever possible, give the person you are communicating with your undivided attention. It's not just a sign of respect, but if you have multiple conversations happening or are allowing other issues to distract you, you may miss an important point in the other person's message. Or lost the gist of the conversation, so always it's better to talk with one person at a time instead of talking with multiple people at the time, so that you can easily understand the conversation. It's important to properly end an I am conversation. You may think the chat is over, but the other person may not. While you are off doing other things, they may be sitting there, st staring at the screen waiting for the further communication from you so when you end your conversation you should you should speak you you should say bye before leaving so that the other person person should not wait for you